Hey guys, it's Coach Zach, Ultimate Baseball Training. Today's video is about the three steps on how to throw a curveball. Let's get right into it. Obviously the first step into throwing a curveball is you have to find the right grip that allows, allows the ball to move the way you want to. There's a couple different ways that we can grip this curveball. Uh, the first way is we want to make sure that we're on top of, on the top half of the horseshoe. We want to make sure we have some room to get on top of that ball and make the ball spin down, make the ball move. So you can either go with your fingers together or if you want to add a, a spike onto it or a knuckle onto it, you can also do that, whatever feels more comfortable for you. But ultimately, whatever grip you decide to go with, we just want to make sure that we're able to get enough pressure on that middle finger and be able to get on top of that ball and make the ball spin the way we want to. All right, the second step of throwing, how to throw a curveball is finding your release point. So if you're directly over the top uh, kind of guy with your release point, it's going to be a little bit easier for you to get that good 12 to 6 spin because you're used to that arm slot. What we don't want to do is have a three-quarter slot with our fastball and a 12 or a t over the top slot with our curveball because then the hitter is going to be able to tell exactly what pitch is coming. You often hear a lot of the, a lot of the major league big time pitchers that they tunnel their pitches very well. What that means is every single pitch that they throw comes out of the same tunnel or the same release point and that makes it so much harder for the hitters to see what pitch is coming because it's that much harder to pick it up out of their hand. So whatever grip that feels comfortable for you, whatever grip that you get the most movement out of, make sure that you can get in out of the same release point as your fastball or your changeup or any other pitch that you may have. So that, make, that way it makes it that much better towards the hitter. Number three thing I want to talk about is the spin direction. What spin direction should you have on your breaking pitch and how are you going to figure out which way you want to go with that. The spin direction you need to be, you need, it needs to be able to correlate with all the other pitches you have in your arsenal. So, for instance, an example is if you're a uh, over the top fastball pitcher and your ball moves at a 12 o'clock axis, it moves straight bottom to top, that's going to give you kind of a really good indicator that you need to have kind of the inverse of that and have a, a true 12 to 6 curveball. That way, out of your hand, the hitter's not really going to be able to tell what, what pitch it is because the spin is so similar. So a counterpoint to that is, same kind of situation, you're a pitcher that throws over the top, you have really good uh, 12 o'clock axis spin on your fastball, it's going true, very true, 100% bottom to top. If you have a curveball that's spinning sideways like that, as soon as that ball rele releases your hand, it doesn't matter how nasty it is, how hard it is, how much it breaks, the hitter is going to know what pitch has come because as a hitter, they're taught to see spin because it's so hard. They, the reaction time is so little that as soon as they see spin, that's when they commit. So really making sure you can, you can kind of dictate the action that you want to get, the action that you need to have on your curveball based on all the other pitches that you have. Now I want to introduce to you guys a few uh, drills that you can do anytime, any place to help you improve your curveball. For the first one that we're going to talk about, all you need is a water bottle. That's all you need. You can do this anywhere, anytime, at your house, wherever you are, you can, you can improve your curveball with a water bottle. So the first thing we're going to do with this is all we're going to do is just try to get our grip on a water bottle. So let's just say this is your grip right here. And all we're going to do is just, is just toss it, okay? So that way it gives us instant feedback. If it's Obviously, if it's spinning top to bottom like this, that's how we know we're getting the spin that we want, we're getting the action that we want. The counterpoint, the counterpoint with that, if the bottle turns out spinning sideways, that's obviously not what we want to get the movement that we want out of that pitch. So that's what, that way we need to make an adjustment. This is a great tool to use. It's obviously very cheap. It can be done anytime and I really recommend it for you. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, one last time, just a quick reminder, making sure that we have a, a good spin direction, a good spin direction that correlates with our other pitches, a good release point, make sure we're tunneling that pitch so that way we can make our curveball as effective as, as possible. If you enjoyed the video today, please like and subscribe. We would really appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you guys next time.